100 years ago, IBM was founded in Armonk, New York. The company has since grown into a technology powerhouse, making Cambridge, Massachusetts its base for innovation in the security and health fields. IBM Security got its start in Boston in 2011. Through the acquisition of Q1 Labs, we've since then grown to 8,000 people. We're operating in 133 countries around the world. And we haven't stopped acquiring companies. In fact, here in the Boston area, uh, we have now acquired more than a dozen companies focused on cybersecurity. IBM Security brings in $2 billion in annual revenue for the company and is using Watson, IBM's breakthrough analytical computer system, to monitor potential cyber attacks on its clients around the world. IBM's Vice President of Security, Caleb Barlow, explains how the company applies the technology. One of the real things about Watson that makes it incredibly advantageous both for IBM as well as for our customers is its ability to parse through massive amounts of information. And they offer customers a chance to face a simulated cyber attack, which IBM believes to be a crucial learning tool. Building on that success, IBM has also set up its healthcare unit in Cambridge. IBM's Chief Health Officer, Dr. K. U. Ree, explains why IBM Health laid its roots down in the city. There's such extraordinary talent here to recruit from. There's extraordinary partnerships that we've been able to evolve and will continue to evolve. And there's such a hotbed of innovation and creativity here. IBM is pairing that talent with Watson in the hopes of coming up with a next medical breakthrough. One of the great parts of Watson is it is a system that understands natural language. It has been trained by the best doctors from Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, Memorial Sloan Kettering to understand medical language and medical literature. In the two years since IBM Health got started, it's partnered with Siemens, Johnson & Johnson and Apple, making progress in the fields of drug discovery and analyzing patient data. Last quarter, revenue from IBM's Cognitive Solutions business, which IBM Health falls under, rose to $5.3 billion. But its biggest breakthroughs are likely still to come. What I believe we have here is what I call a big data stethoscope, an ability to basically translate all this data and bring insights to an end user, to a doctor, to a policymaker, so that they can make better, smarter decisions out of that big data.